All right, dear friends, today I'm again in this place, in the National Museum of Natural History of Ukraine, in the city of Kiev, the capital of Ukraine. And now I'm in this exposition of insects and bees. Well, here not only bees, bees and wasps. And I want to tell you the story about honeybees, because they're here. They're, you think, domesticated insects. No, they are wild, they are feral, and they are domesticated as well, but at the same time. Honeybee. This is Apis mellifera, the most famous species probably in the world. But Apis mellifera is not only one species. There are many species of genus Apis, but also some subspecies. You see, several, several subspecies which are living in different parts of the world. But also, honeybee. Honeybee is famous because they are making combs. You know, all these combs were smelling pretty well. Because honeybees, they are collecting honey and also pollen and, and bee bread here inside this comb. And comb is so nice, nicely done. But if honeybees, they escaped from beehive by creating their nest like this, this is wild nest of feral bees. They escaped from beehive and they are living in the wild. For example, in the forest, somewhere inside the whole part of a tree. And who did this interesting frame? This interesting frame for honeybees. Do you know? For instance, this is a honeybee is walking here around. This, there are several people who did but most famous probably this is Langestroff. Langestroff, this person, American beekeeper and scientist, he invented Langestroff beehive with movable frames. And this is probably his first picture of honey or beehive. And this beehive consisted of First box and the supers on the second box. And of course, this beehive consisted of all these nice frames. And who was else? And in Ukraine, you know, another person was. This is Petro Prokopovich. Oh, this is another picture of him. He didn't like actually to take photos, so his drawing probably is more precise. But we know him like on this picture. And he invented another type of design, also with movable frames. You know what this is? This type of behind, sorry. Okay, all these frames were like books inside and they are removable as well. And behind consisted of three parts. And two of them were are removable. And on the downside, this was the nest and the honey chambers were on the upper third part of the beehive. And actually, not all beekeepers may know about Petro Prokopovich. But in Ukraine he is a very famous person. Because the Institute of Beekeeping of Ukraine is named in honor of Petro Prokopovich, who invented Ukrainian style of frame and Ukrainian style of Prokopovich. Beehive. Actually, his beehive haven't been accepted pretty well, but Langestroff's beehive became widely distributed all around the world. Well, and I want to show you bees. I have here a collection because entomologists they're collecting insects and they're keeping insects in drawings and all these boxes like this. You know. Here I have some queens. Queens were bigger than workers. I have three dead queens here. And I have also drones, males. They're also quite a big, bigger than workers. And I have even here some viral mites, dangerous pest of bees. And here I have different bees, some wild species of bees and this honeybee. You can see a little bit them at least. Well, these 
It's a story about bees. And, of course, you know, American observers, they can read, for instance, American Bee Journal about honeybees. It's quite nice, very famous journal. And, for example, they can buy this book of Encyclopedia from A to the Z. X, Y and Z of bee culture. And this interesting and very, very famous book written by Ruth and his family. Because this is 41st edition of this print. It's actually been translated in Russian. So you can find it like Encyclopedia of Beekeeping in Russian language as well. But I would like to show you also this book, the book of Petro Prokopovich, Ukrainian beekeeper. This is the third volume of this book. And this book was translated in Ukrainian from because many papers of Petro Prokopovich were published in Russian. Actually, he lived in 18th century and he died in 1850. And this group of editors collected all these, his papers and united it in three volumes. They were Mr. Gornich, Zulik, Korsh, Milov and Salonga. Their, their editorial committee they created these wonderful books of Petro Prokopovich united in three volumes all together. So I do advise you to find this book. Maybe you can read it in Ukraine. Or you can ask help for translation. Now, there's a story about honeybee. And of course, I should say a little bit about the structure of honeybee because this is a super organism. Because honeybee colony consists of workers, which are just have a different, different specialization for their work and we consist the major of honeybee colony. Queen bee and drones. Queen bee just only one individual in a bee colony. Drones can be up to 300, 400 and workers can be quite a lot up to from 10,000 to 6,000, 8,000. So this colony will be quite a big. And this colony, yes, as I already told you, they are living inside a big hive. And if they are in a farming yard, so they are living in a big hive. And workers, they are making all these combs. They are collecting honey, put the honey inside comb and cup it. So all this cupped. Honey, this is actually the heritage which is collected and harvested by the keeper. And here you can see another representative of Hymenoptera. Hymenoptera, this is a special order of insects. This is hornet nest. Hornet nest, this is a wild wasp, dangerous pest or honeybee. Yes, because hornet is a berry bee and his food is actually different insects and hornet hornet is very dangerous because it can kill many dozens of honey bees but by the way hornet has also valuable influence in ecosystem because hornet is predator and kills different different pests and different insects everywhere around your ocean many of the species they are pests of your agricultural crops. So if you can see hornet somewhere in a forest, don't kill it because he is probably beneficial value is more than his dangerous value. But of course it is near the beekeeping farm, hornet becoming very dangerous. So and you can find here, you can see here that's another nest of small Vespa, because Vespa this is a genus of wild wasps. And all these two and this third nest they are created by wasps and they did it from wood. But this is not from wax like here, like honeybees we do it, but this is a wooden structure. All adults, hornets, are creating these different layers of combs by they created from wood and they lay eggs and they grow into their larvae, they are growing. 
gen new generations inside this nest. So this is a small story about bees, about wasps, about hornets, and see you soon plenty new video. And welcome to the National Museum of Natural History in Kiev in Ukraine. And see you soon. Goodbye.